We'll just take a moment to get settled into our bodies. So as you're settling in and you're closing your eyes, take a moment to find your breath. Sounds silly, right? But breathing consciously as we move into our practice. So just with an intention behind your breath, start to breathe a little more air into your lungs and then start to breathe a little more air out of your lungs. And as you do that, you'll notice the quality of your breath begins to increase and improve. And then as you're doing that, I want you to just get really curious about what you're feeling in your heart this morning, what you're feeling in your chest. That's one of those energy centers where we tend to store a lot. So we wanna use this practice today to, to digest some of that stuff that's going on in the chest and, and in the heart. <clears throat> so doesn't mean it's bad, right? It could be good stuff, but we just wanna help the body integrate what's happening in the heart. And then just take, take a moment, if you feel like your energy is being drained in some way, or like, you know, there's just maybe a lot going on, or maybe you're thinking about, you know, something, or just let's call our energy back for a moment. So just, I call my energy back, okay, I call my energy back into my body. And then just using one of my favorite visuals, just imagining that your energy is actually arriving in this big golden ball of light right in front of you. Calling my energy back calling my energy back, feeling like it's just floating back from all of those people, places, and things, and just arriving back in this big golden ball of light in front of you. And you can even imagine that this golden ball of light is, is pulsing and vibrating with your energy, all that energy that's just kind of gotten left in other places, pulsing with your life force. You just start to breathe that into your heart. So you're breathing all that energy back into your body, right through your heart. And as you're exhaling, you're just releasing and relaxing, and just finding some enjoyment there. Beautiful. And then you can just take a moment to set your own intention. So just something you wanna create on your mat today. Beautiful. And then when you feel complete there, we can just softly open up our eyes and we're going to come back into a child's pose. So just shift yourself back, rest your head down and start to find a nice position with your arms. So you can actually just reach the arms forward if you like and, and keep your elbows soft and, and just sort of resting here on the ground. Or you're welcome to actually pop up to your fingertips and start to lift your elbows and your triceps up off the mat, which is going to feel a bit more active. It's going to stoke a little more fire that way. And then just begin to send a lot of breath into the very back of your heart, right through the middle of the shoulder blades. And then as you inhale, let's start to come up to your hands and your knees and just find your tabletop. And then we'll start to circle our bodies to the right. So we're just going to start to, you'll feel that in your wrists. You're going to feel that in your knees. You're going to feel that in your hips. Just stirring the pot a little bit here. And once you get moving, you might even start to find some bigger circles. And just a couple more like this. And then we'll come back up into your tabletop. 
And I want you to start to move through the first part of your cat cow, which just means you're gonna inhale, arch your back, and you're gonna actually hold it here. So we inhale, lift your heart, lift your tailbone, and then hold it here, deep breaths. Spreading across your collarbones. Take another deep breath in. And then let's exhale to round out your spine. And then we're gonna hold it here, really opening up through the back of your body. I like to rock a little bit forward and back on this one. One more breath here. And then as you inhale, come back through that back bend. Okay, so we'll come back through that cow shape, arch your back. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, flat back. And as you exhale, tuck your toes and come back into your downward facing dog. So we're just gonna lift it up there. Yes, and then start to pedal out your feet and shake your head a little bit here, yes and no. I want you to imagine that your triceps, okay, those muscles there at the backs of your arms are, are hugging in toward the bone and lifting upward. And same, same with your thighs, okay? They're hugging in toward the bone and they're lifting up the leg. And then relax your neck a little bit more. And we're here for three. Two. And one. Really good, let's inhale, look towards the top of your mat. We're gonna to start to tippy toe your feet forward. We're coming all the way up into Ardha Uttanasana. So once you arrive here, you're gonna lift that body halfway. And as you exhale, fold down the legs. Let's root to rise, inhale, push through your feet. Let's sweep the arms up overhead, reach up. As you exhale, let's forward fold, take it back down the legs. Inhale, lift halfway. And as you exhale, step yourself to plank pose. Okay, so we're gonna hold this plank pose here. Really press your heels back. Yeah, so just stoking that fire here. I always feel like Saturday morning is a time for a fiery practice. Okay, Saturday's kind of got that personality, right? Push, push the heels back, lift the belly, reach the head forward, one more breath. And we're gonna let those knees come down under your hips. So we're back here, this little tabletop. Okay, and we're gonna to start to circle the body to the left. Just maybe little circles to start. I like to really send my hips over to the side. Okay, really kind of getting in there to the hips. You're feeling good, you can take it a bit, a bit bigger. We'll just go a couple more here. And then let's come back into your tabletop. And we'll send your right leg behind you. So we're gonna move through this cat-cow shape, okay? But with our three-legged our three-legged table. We'll inhale, lift your leg, lift your heart. As you exhale, knee to nose, round your spine. Inhale, find that back bend, lift your leg, lift your chest. Exhale, knee to nose, round your back. One more, inhale, take it back, lift it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Very good, inhale, send that right leg back. Now listen up, you're gonna actually pivot on your bottom knee and step your right foot down. So we're actually in a modified side plank. Okay, left knee is down under the left hip, right arm reaches up. Take this right arm overhead and get that big side stretch. So sometimes you can actually move the hips forward a bit and lean the heart back and it comes into a little bit of a heart opener. One more inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna pull this right knee to your right elbow, a little pull. Okay, <laughs> inhale, extend, reach, exhale, pull. Two more, inhale, reach, exhale, pull. 
One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Gorgeous. Inhale, reach. Let's come back into your tabletop. Knees are down. Now listen up. We take an inhale here. As you exhale, it's like a little baby chaturanga push-up. You're just going to lower the face toward the mat. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, lower. It's like a little funky little push-up. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. And then we'll pause. All right, let's take that left leg back. Moving through that little cat-cow shape again. Here we go. We inhale, lift the leg. We lift the chest. We exhale, pull the knee to the nose. All right, rounding out your spine. Here we go. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's take it back. And then we're going to pivot on this bottom knee. Okay, let's step the left foot down. You get to see my backside here. <laughs> left arm reaches over. We find a big stretch through the side of your body. And if you want, you can move your hips forward, start to lean your heart back in space, and maybe find a little heart opener. Let's take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we'll pull your knee to your elbow. Okay, a little pull, a little squeeze. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. Two more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. One more. Here we go. Inhale, extension. And then we come back into your tabletop. Take a moment here with me. Take a deep breath in. We're going to find your puppy pose. So walk your hands forward. So if it feels okay, come up to your fingertips and then you'll drop your forehead to the mat. For some of you might actually drop your chin to the mat, maybe your chin and your chest. And if that's too much in your shoulders, you can flatten your palms to the floor. We're here for three, two, And then as you inhale, just slowly come back to your forehead, walk your hands back. We're back up into our tabletop. Whew, we're gonna tuck your toes and find that downward dog again. So I'm gonna assume that all is well with the sound, okay? Unless I get a comment that says otherwise. <laughs> so I'll check the comments here and there, all right? Otherwise I'll assume we're good to go. All right, we're in downward facing dog. We're here for three steady breaths. Deep breath in, long breath out. So we are gonna to start to move through our Surya Namaskar A, our vinyasas, really starting to pick up the heat, really starting to drum that internal heat up, okay? So let's take an inhale, look forward, step, walk, or jump to the top of your mat, Ardha Uttanasana, and then we'll exhale, fold down the legs. Inhale, root to rise, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, hands come down, we find our Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, we fold down the legs. Inhale, take it up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, you can step, walk, or jump to your plank. You can lower down Chaturanga or to your belly. You can lift up Baby Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And then you're gonna move it back downward facing dog. Okay, so I won't throw those options out continuously. Just know that when we move through a vinyasa, you can, you can modify, you can take your cat cow, you can lower to your belly, you can skip it. All right, we're here for three. Relax your head, two. Pull your belly button in. And one. We inhale, look forward, step, walk, or jump. Top of your mat, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, take it down the legs. Root to rise, inhale, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, hands come down. That's round one, okay, we've got two more rounds. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, 
folding down the legs. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, step walk or jump back, move through that vinyasa or modified vinyasa. And then we'll take it back, downward facing dog. And just steady out your breath here. Find that ujjayi pranayama, right? Deep nostril breathing. All right, as we inhale, look forward, step, walk, or float. Once again, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, fold down, Uttanasana. Root to rise, inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step walk or jump back, Vinyasa. Inhale, upward chest. Exhale, downward chest. Come back to your breath. So I do always find that Saturdays end up being more of an intermediate advanced, just because it's Saturday. <laughs> so feel free to modify at any time. Okay, we're here for three, two, and one. Let's inhale, look forward, step, walk, or jump. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, let's fold down the legs. Inhale, root to rise. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Okay, let's take the feet together, yeah? We're gonna line up your toes. Chair pose, we change the pace a little bit. Utkatasana, inhale, bend the knees, scoop the arms up. Let's hold it here. I'm gonna actually come over to the screen, okay? So we hold it here, find your heels, find your breath. Sit your bum back, that's it. Knit those ribs in, yes, that's it. We're here for three, two, as you exhale, fold down your legs. It's like you just want to spill over the legs. Inhale, half lift. We're stepping this left foot back. Okay, as you exhale, step it back. Bend your right knee and pause. When you've got a good steady balance, we sweep the arms up and we find our high lunge. So when you first get there, you might just need a moment, right? To move a little bit, get those hips you know, <laughs> awake. Yeah, find that buoyancy in your back leg. We're here for three. We can keep the eyes on the horizon for now. Arms are shoulder distance. Two. As you exhale, spin your back heel to the mat and find your warrior two. I want you to take this warrior two a little deeper than you feel comfortable with. Okay, so you've got this 90 degree bend at your front knee and then you wanna evenly distribute the weight. So both of your legs are working equal the same. And then look right over that front hand and then hold it. We're here for three, two. Now stay right here and start to pulse your arms back. Okay, we're gonna pulse it back, back, back. Pull your belly button in, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reverse the warrior. As you exhale, windmill your hands to frame your front foot. Pick your back heel up, root your left hand down and sweep your right hand to the sky, finding a twist. We're gonna warm this core up a little bit more. So start to pivot your toes, okay, towards the right edge of your mat until you come onto the knife edges of your feet. So you might stay here, okay? You might stack your right foot on top of your left and find your side plank. Some of you might wanna modify, you can take your left knee down. Okay, so we're here for three, two, as you exhale, come back to your plank. Pause here with me. We're gonna take those knees to the chest. So we pull it forward, 
forward. We alternate right and left. It's like a slow mountain climber. One more each side. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna take your feet as wide as your mat. Take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Okay, now root your pubic bone into the mat. Much easier for women to do that than it is for men, right? Root your pubic bone down, root your feet down, roll your shoulders back, and lift your heart. A little heart opener, okay? Breathe into your collarbones. Press your feet down, press your pubic bone down. Inhale, lift a little higher. Breathe into your chest. As you exhale, slowly come back to the mat. Hands come down underneath your shoulders. You're gonna tuck your toes. Inhale, plank pose. You can either exhale, downward dog or child's pose, or exhale, chaturanga, and move through your vinyasa. Just stabilize as you come back, okay, to downward facing dog. You wanna stabilize your breath. Relax your head. We'll be here for just a, another moment. We're gonna stay with this right side, okay? So taking warrior one, inhale, step your right foot to the top of your mat, spin your back heel to the floor and rising up here, warrior one. So I'm gonna offer you two suggestions here. Yes, your feet are hip distance apart, okay? We are squaring off the hips towards the front of your mat. However, when you feel comfortable, and for me personally, this is kind of an awkward pose, but you can actually start to take that back foot further back and start to deepen your warrior one, okay? Just an option. If it's still very awkward, you can keep a nice short uh, space between the front and the back foot, okay? Hands are up shoulder distance apart. And if it feels available, take your palms together. Yep, look towards your thumbs. And you're gonna lift those hands up as high as you can. Yeah, pull your right hip back. Root through your feet. We're here for three, two. So listen up, we'll take a deep breath in. So just like you would for humble warrior, you're gonna exhale, come forward, let the arms swing back, let your head bow down. And then we're gonna inhale, do that again. So we inhale, come up, sweep the arms up. Exhale, we lower down, like we're coming towards that humble warrior. Inhale, sweep the arms up, lift the head, lift the heart. Ooh, exhale, nice and slow, because if you go too fast, you might lose your balance. One more time, inhale. This time we'll exhale, come down, and we're gonna actually clasp the hands and hold it, humble warrior. So if you need to adjust your back foot to come in a little closer, you know, do what you gotta do so you can keep the integrity here. We're here for three, two, and one let's inhale start to rise up into your warrior one okay just pause for a moment so i've got a fun little transition for you okay so we inhale we straighten the right leg we're going to pivot the right toes in exhale pivot the left toes out and come down into your side lunge okay i'll show you from the front so your hands can be on the ground right or we can actually keep going and come all the way into our skandasana. Yeah, once you get there, decide what you wanna do with your hands. So you're gonna keep them here on the ground. You're gonna come up for a balance and bring them to prayer. If you want a little more, you can actually extend your left hand off to the sides. So you've gotta kind of hook that upper arm across the shin and then you can reach the right arm up. Very important that you keep this straight leg engaged. So keep squeezing that thigh. We're here for three, 
two, and one. Now, nice and easy, we're gonna come up. We're gonna be water here for a moment, okay? So as you come up, turn your toes to face forward, and then just give yourself a little bit of fluid movement as you shift back and forth. It's like you're just kind of like getting in there and just shaking off any of that ugh, heavy energy in there. Just a couple more. No wrong way to do it. And then we'll start to walk our hands back to the front of your mat. Okay, so that right foot's in front. Let's step to the top of your mat. Inhale, look forward. <laughs> Exhale, fold down your legs. You're coming up into chair pose. Inhale, Utkatasana. Stay here as you exhale. Yes. Good. Sitting back into your heels. And we'll take our hands to our hearts. Okay, we're gonna actually pop up to your toes. So try to get up to your tippy toes. Squeeze your legs together. Sit down, feel that fire in your thighs. All right, lift your chest. Stay with me, we're here for five. Four, a little higher up on the tippy toes. Lift your chest. Two, lower the heels down. Whew. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Let's step your right foot back. Okay, so you're gonna find that lunge. Find your balance. And then sweep the arms up when you're ready. Square off your hips. Yeah. Notice if you hold tension here, like through your neck and the tops of your shoulders, engage through the base of your shoulder blades to relax, yeah, through the neck. Pull the belly in, we're just here for a couple more breaths, hands are shoulder distance, palms face each other, we look straight ahead. Take a deep breath in, exhale, pivot your back heel, Find your warrior two. Okay. We're going a little lower than we kind of want to. Okay, just a tiny bit. Find that 90 degree angle. Evenly distribute the weight here. Both legs work equal the same. Stay with me, one more breath. As you inhale, uh, release your back hand down. We'll come right into this reverse warrior. As you exhale, windmill your hands down to frame your front foot, pivot your back heel up, root your right hand down, and sweep your left hand up. We find that easy twist. Stay with me a little longer. Take a deep breath in and then start to pivot on your feet. Okay, so your toes are gonna point towards the left edge of your mat. Option to stay here, option to stack your left foot on top of your right, or you can take your right knee down under your hip. We're inside plank for three. Squeeze your legs, lift your hips too. And as we exhale, let's come back into our plank. You're welcome to drop your knees for this. We take our knees across to the opposite arm. Alternating right and left. Four more. Let's come back to your plank, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Okay, so if your back feels okay, Take your feet a little closer together this time. Maybe hip distance, maybe all the way together. You can get them all the way together, try that. Hands come behind you, interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, and then lift your legs. Squeeze your legs together if they're together. And this time, you're rooting through the belly button. Push through your belly. Inhale, lift. Breathe into your collarbones. Three, two, 
As you exhale, slowly lower down, release the feet, hands come down underneath your shoulders. Okay, we'll inhale, tuck the toes, pressing it up, plank pose. Let's take a deep breath in. You can exhale vinyasa or feel free to child's pose or just come to down dog. We make our way back, right? Downward facing dog, stay with your breath. Just gonna check. Okay, all is good. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. They're not too wide, they're not too close. Yes. We move into that warrior one now on the left side. Let's inhale, step the left foot, root your back heel and rise up, warrior one. Once you get there, check in. Are my hips square? Are my feet hip distance apart? Am I good here or do I wanna take my back foot further back and deepen my warrior one? Pull your belly button in. Lift through your inner thighs. Okay, we're here. One more breath. And then you'll inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're just gonna flow through that little humble warrior. Okay, relax the head. Inhale, nice and easy as we sweep up. Exhale, we flow down. Inhale, let's flow up. Exhale, we flow down. One more time, inhale, flow up. Exhale, we flow down. This time we clasp and we hold. Head below the heart, ego bows to the higher self, right? Just having a moment where we acknowledge that. And then as we inhale, slowly come back up, warrior one. We'll pause on the exhale. And then as we inhale, straighten your front leg, pivot your toes in. Exhale, pivot your right toes out and come down into your lunge. I come here first because some, you know, some of us need to modify and just stay here. Some of us are okay to come a little further down. So it's okay if you're up on your, your, your toe here on the right side, okay? That's some of us, just the anatomy of our ankle is what we need to do. That's absolutely okay. You can keep your left foot down or you can come to the back of the heel. Yeah, make a choice with your hands. They're stabilizing you on the floor. Maybe they're up at the heart. Maybe you sneak this right elbow across the right shin, extending that right arm out and then reaching the left arm up. Most importantly, you're really feeling every little corner of your body and how your body and your breath are communicating. Awesome, let's slowly come back to center. We'll be water here for a moment, okay? So as you come back up, you can just flip your toes a little more forward and then just flowing from side to side. I know for me, some days I love this, other days I hate it. This depends on how I feel. I guess if you feel fluid, <laughs> it feels good. If you feel stiff, it feels sucky. All right. And then we'll just slowly start to inhale, walk yourself to the front of your mat. So that left foot should be in front. Inhale, step forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, let's fold down the legs. Chair pose. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the arms up. Stay here. We're in our chair pose. We pause, take your hands to your heart. Okay, we're gonna rise back up to your tippy toes. And we're actually gonna do a fun little thing. Well, I don't know if you're gonna think it's fun, but I think it's fun. So you're up here and you'll inhale, let your heels roll down. Exhale, let your heels roll back up. Okay, inhale, let your heels roll down. Exhale, they roll up. Two more, inhale, they roll down. Exhale, up to the tippy toes. Inhale, roll down, exhale, hold it here, up, 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 lift your chest, squeeze your leg, Woo. and release the heels. Let's inhale, reach the arms up, 
Exhale, tap your left elbow to your right thigh. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side. One more to the right. One more to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, so from here, we'll inhale, look up. Just step your feet as wide as your mat and we'll come down into Malasana. So it's this yogi squat. Very important for you to know that you can modify right here. Okay, if you don't wanna come all the way down. Otherwise, elbows sort of spread the knees apart. We're really buoyant here through the base of the spine and you're lifting up through your chest. I like to close my eyes for a moment and really kind of feel what's happening in the stomach. Like what are you digesting right now? Food, energy, information, circumstances. Just take a few moments. And then you're welcome to stay here. You're welcome to plant your palms, all right? And we start to lift up through the bum, planting our knees right here into our triceps. And then rocking the chest to come over the fingernails and then lifting either one heel or maybe we go for both today for your bakasana crow pose. You're here for five, wherever you are, stay with it. Four, three, two, slowly come back to your squat. Ooh, very good. And then we're gonna take your hands behind you and we'll walk back. Yeah, so I always like to just take your bum down for a moment, take your feet hip distance apart. Another heart opener coming at you. Fingertips point down toward your heels. Inhale, reverse tabletop. So we lift the hips, pull your belly button in, plant your feet firmly. Breathe into your shoulders. If it feels okay, you can look up. You might be able to drop the head back. Breathe into your collarbones. One more breath. And then slowly let those hips come all the way down to the floor. Very good. So we're gonna pull your right foot in and extend your left leg long. <coughs> okay, so the straight leg moves out to the side a little bit. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna look like I'm doing the opposite to you, but that's okay. Peace finger bind, some of you have done this with me. So good for opening up the lungs, okay? Peace finger bind comes inside your big, your big left toe. This right arm is gonna wrap around. So you're trying to open this right shoulder, this right side of your chest. So if you can, try to hook your fingertips inside this left thigh only if that's available. Doesn't matter if it's not, otherwise hand is um, on your lower back and you're gonna pivot your gaze back, roll your right shoulder back, and as you breathe, really fill up your lungs, suspend your breath, and then slowly breathe out. Beautiful. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, you can just come around for a little counter twist. <sighs> Pull that belly button in as you do that. <sighs> Inhale, look center. We're gonna grab a hold of your knees and we'll ro uh, rock and roll. Okay, so we're just gonna go back and forth along the spine until we're back in our plank pose. And you can step or jump back into your plank pose and we'll hold it here. Let's fire that off for a moment, yeah? Deep breath in, long breath out, and then bring it down to your forearms with me. Hold it here. Try to be a really long body, okay? Push your heels back, pull your belly button in, get longer. 
and then come back to your hands. Let your knees come down. Okay, I warned you, right? It's a hard opening practice. <laughs> so right leg is gonna come back again. Wait, is that true? Let me think about this. Let's go left leg. Let's go left leg first. Nope, right leg, <laughs> right leg. Okay, so your right leg is lifted. Your left arm comes forward. So we'll, we'll kind of move a little first and then we're gonna try to catch the foot. So let's take a deep breath in, lift your heart. Exhale, bend the back knee. See if you can tap the inside of the foot. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, bend, try to tap. Don't worry if you can't tap. Yeah, inhale, reach. Exhale, little tap. One more time. This time, either you're gonna stay here or you're gonna try to catch that foot. You're gonna push the foot into the hand. Push the hand, the right hand down into the mat and lift your heart. Breathe into your collarbones for three. Two. And one. As you inhale, extend. Okay, one more time, extending. Now just release your left hand down. Okay, so feel free to modify, you guys. If you need less, please take less. We're gonna tuck your left toes. Inhale, push up to down, uh, three-legged downward dog, so your right leg is lifted. Yay, and then you can bend the knee and open up the hip. And you can stay here. Some of you might wanna flip your dog. So you can actually take it right on over for your wild thing. Let's slowly make our way back. Three-legged dog, inhale. Step through for warrior one, exhale. Woof, <laughs> root the feet and then inhale, come on up. So let's get the hands together. Yeah, if possible, we'll lift towards, look towards the thumbs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, wrapping that left arm underneath your right. So either we take the backs of the hands together, you can give yourself a big hug, or you take the palms for Garudasana, eagle bind. All right. So you probably know what's coming, right? This left leg is gonna come through, we'll lift the knee, and then we'll take that left leg across. So you can modify here in your squat, or the left leg comes over, you can just take the tippy toes down or you can hook the foot behind the ankle. Most importantly, as you sit low, you just feel what you feel, notice what you notice. Draw your elbows down, breathe into the back of your heart for three, two, and then as you inhale, Slowly unravel, we'll come back up, undo the legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Gorgeous, inhale, lift halfway. Take your feet as wide as your mat, spin your toes out. Here we are, one more time, Malasana, yogi squat. So a little self-practice. You wanna stay here, you can stay here. If you wanna come into your, your float, your arm balance, you can do that. There's a twist available, there's a bind available. So you just slide one arm just inside that same shin. You can either take that little twist or you can actually come around for the bind. So your top arm comes around the lower back to catch that bottom hand. Making sure if you do a single side, you spend about three breaths each side. And then we come back to center. If you're in your crow or your squat, just hang out. Notice what you notice, feel what you feel. You're welcome to come back into Malasana anytime. We're here for three, two, one. Inhale, come back to center. And let's exhale again, just take it back. So we walk out the back of the pose, we walk down the mat and we lower the hips, set the feet up hip distance apart. Fingertips point down toward your heels. 
Inhale, lift up through the hips. Move the knees forward. Move the chest up. Make a choice with your head. You look at the belly button, or you look at the ceiling, or you drop your head back. We're here for five. Stay active through your inner thighs. Four, keep pushing into the mat, but be kind to your shoulders. One more breath. And then we just slowly lower down. Okay, so this time we extend the right leg out and we hug the left foot into the groin. Keep this flexed foot active. Peace finger bind comes inside the big toe. This guy is gonna come around, right? Either to the lower back or all the way inside the thigh. Anchor down through your sitting bones. Sit tall. As you exhale, begin to rotate around. Now when you breathe in, really fill up. Fill your lungs up, suspend your breath, and then you'll breathe out nice and slow. Gorgeous, inhale, look forward, exhale. We'll come around for that little counter twist. Inhale, look center. Exhale, come back, get a hold of those knees and just rock and roll. Your spine loves this, oh, loves it so much. Just getting all that spinal fluid, all that lymph moving through the body. We'll come back into your plank pose and then let your knees come to the mat. Okay, so this time we're gonna take that left leg back. You're gonna reach that right arm forward. We're almost done, you guys. I know it doesn't seem like it, but we are. <laughs> Let's take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna bend this back knee and we're just gonna try to tap, right? Inhale, reach, extend. Exhale, tap. Two more. Inhale, reach, extend. Exhale, you're lifting the heart to tap. One more. Inhale, exhale. So you can hang out here or you can catch your foot yeah, if you've got that foot, let's push into the hand. Very important to push down into the floor as you buoy up through the heart and breathe into your collarbones for three, two. As you inhale, extend. As you exhale, just the right hand comes down. We tuck the right toes. Inhale, we press up. Three-legged dog, left leg is lifted. We exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. And then of course, option, if you wanna take that wild thing, flip it over, find your breath. And then nice and slow, let's come on back. Yeah, warrior, uh, not warrior one, not yet. Three-legged dog, inhale. Now we exhale, step through for warrior one. Let's root the back heel and then come right up. If you can bring your palms together, just for a moment, look towards those thumbs. This balances out the left and right hemisphere of your brain. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's wrap that right arm underneath your left. Find your bind, okay, whatever works for you today. Draw the elbows down, lift the chest. Option to step into your squat. Option to lift your right knee and take the bind. So we can come into that half bind. You can kick stand the toes. You can come into that full bind, okay? No judgment, all right? It is what it is. My teacher always says every part of the pose is still the pose, okay? Squeeze the knees together, or I guess a better way is hug the midline. Yes, we're here for three. Look for lightness and space, two. One, we inhale, start to unravel the legs, unravel the arms, reach up. As you exhale, release your hands down. Let's step your feet apart. <clears throat> Close your eyes and just notice what you feel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gotta like cover this microphone. <laughs> Not coughing in your ear. All right, just steady out the breath.
Noticing what you feel, right? We've done a lot of work today. Let's step your feet together. As we inhale, we'll take one final chair pose. Inhale to come all the way into that. And then as you exhale, we're just gonna slowly bring those hands to your heart and try to sit down as low as you can. Holding it once you get there. Holding it once you get there. And then we'll sit all the way down. Whew, nice job. <laughs> and then we'll lie down on your back. All right, let's take it back. One more thing here. We're just gonna come up into a back bend. So make a choice, right? Your full wheel. So the lower body is the same no matter what you're doing, okay? Your feet are hip distance apart. Your knees are hip distance apart. It's just that your upper body is different, right? Baby bridge, palms by your hips. Full wheel, palms by your ears. We're only doing this one time. Inhale, press through your feet, press through your hands, lift up. You gotta hug those inner thighs in ever so slightly. Move your knees forward. Get your shoulders onto your back. Relax your head and your neck. Buoy up through your chest, breathe into your collarbones for five. Four, relax your butt muscles. Three, two, slowly we come down, nice and easy. We're gonna take those feet together, let your knees fall out wide. Take a moment, close your eyes, bring your right hand to your belly and your left hand to your heart. So whenever we work on um, heart openers, it works on your nervous system specifically. So it's why it can feel kind of uncomfortable while we're doing it, but when you're done, you'll feel a lot more calm and peace in your body and in your mind. <laughs> okay, nice easy twist. Let's inhale, bring the knees up. <clears throat> And as you exhale, let's lift the, the feet. If you guys haven't figured this out by now, this is my very favorite twist. So feel free to take a different twist. Arms out nice and wide. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, knees fall all the way over to the left. And then you're gonna melt that right shoulder blade into the mat. You're gonna look towards your right hand. You're gonna breathe. Send your spine a lot of love. Pull your belly in. We're intentionally trying to open up through this right uh, rib cage and suspend the breath a little bit as you breathe in. And then inhale, bring those knees back up over you. Exhale, take them over to the right. Same, same, different side. Okay, left shoulder blade melts into the mat. We look towards the left hand, open up that left shoulder blade. Left rib cage, pulling the belly in. As you inhale, come right back to center. Exhale, give yourself the biggest hug ever. You can squeeze those knees in, maybe lift your head. And then slowly, we're gonna rest it down into that final rest, okay, coming into your Shavasana. <clears throat> so just settling in here, I am going to see if I can play a song here like I normally do. And hopefully disconnecting the mic won't mess us up. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'll call you back very soon. I'll call you back in just a moment, in just a minute.
I just want to extend the invitation to remember to continue to check in with yourself throughout the day, just like you would check in with anyone who you really care about. Let's start to take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Let's wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. And just nice and easy, you can reach the arms back over your head and just take that big full body good morning stretch and then hugging the knees into your chest. Maybe giving yourself a little rock from side to side. And you can just spill the weight over to the right. Take a pause here. And then we'll slowly come back up to a seat <clears throat> and just meet each other right back in Sukhasana where we started closing our eyes down. And so most of you know, but as we close together with an OM, we'll inhale to prepare and then we'll OM on the exhale. Let's take our palms together at the chest. And I actually like to bring them a little lower to the sternum. We'll take a nice deep breath in. Oh, oh. I always feel like a movement practice isn't quite complete until you make a little bit of sound. So let's take our, our heads down, just bowing forward here, just honoring this day, blessing it all good, giving our thanks, and we say namaste. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And uh, I'll go ahead and unmute you if you if you want to stay and if you have any questions, I'll be here. Uh, feel free to go if you've got stuff. So I totally get it.